Got him. Oh dear. That's a big one, dude. Where's the jet ski? Where's the jet ski? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. Today is boat traffic day. This is about as close to Memorial Day as you can get. There are about 5,000 people on the lake. I'm sure you guys have done stuff like this. It's like one of the first warm days in spring, late spring. We kind of had a late coming with spring. I have hot swimsuit model. Woo! Yeah, a little eye candy for you. I need to stay focused though, because here's what we're doing today. I found a bunch of beds. Now, I don't know if the females have moved up, but basically with that warming trend, you know, we've kind of clicked up, you know, 65, 68, 70, and we're kind of holding like 68 to 72 degrees, like surface water temp. And that means the males are gonna come up and the females are gonna be like right behind or they're gonna be cruising kind of in this shallow stuff. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna kind of do some dinky fishing. And what I mean by that is when you get all this traffic on the lake, my philosophy, like these guys right here, wakeboarding. When you, when you get all this traffic on the lake, I think fishing small is one of my strengths because I, you know, I come from a tin boat background, a little John boat, I used to fish at Lake Okeechobee, one of the biggest lakes in the country with a 16 and a half foot John boat with a tiller motor. So I broke it in half. So my, one of my like strengths is fishing small, like taking advantage of a small area and juicing it for what it is. Doesn't mean you're gonna catch 30 pounds. Doesn't mean you're gonna light the world on fire, but especially when you have fish that are moving up to spawn, and they go in small chunks or small waves. So we're gonna take like a little Ned rig like this, a little Clint Davis, and we're gonna take a Texas rig, like that tube or like a little creature bait, and we're gonna plunk it around. And some of these grass holes, I'm gonna show you how I approach blind pitching beds, as well as sight fishing some fish on Lake Gunnersville in Northwest Alabama. It's also hugely applicable. You can do it in Florida, and I know you can do it in Wisconsin, because we used to do this kind of thing all the time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Bog, are you, are you shooing away the, the wakeboarders? Are you wakeboard protection? You look so sad. You wanna go swimming? Oh, you're kind of warm. Make sure, make sure to throw a like for either swimsuit model bog but definitely not me because i'm kind of a douche so throw a like down there throw a subscribe make sure to hit that bell notification because youtube hates me and they won't show you my videos if you actually enjoy them so make sure to turn on notifications let's go fishing that's a better one Oh, she got it too, boys. Come here. Got him. Nice. So, so that little baby Ned head. So what we're doing, guys, it's it's pretty, like, this is Wisconsin fishing. Like, 100%. She wasn't coming off either. All we're doing is we're kind of, let me get her off. It's a solid two and a half, two and three quarters. All we're doing is, you see all this grass right here? There's all these, I'm all tied up. There's all these little pockets. If you see these little yellow spots, I'm just taking this Ned and it's kind of, I can't say the word on YouTube, but it's, it's girly fishing, dude. So we're just taking this Ned and I'm just with a spinning rod and I'm just kind of pitching these holes. Now there's a lot of people out right now. It's churning up the water and I was able to see them when I was here the other day, but I can't see them now. So I just, I know there's beds in these pockets. So I'm just kind of flicking it, hoping to get bit. <laughs> That's a big one. There's two in that pocket, guys. There's like a bunch of yellow spots and I caught one off the left side and then she freaking annihilated it on the right. It's another nice chunky one. That's actually two in a row, dude. Pretty nice fish. So let's get her gone. The water's really clear, so it'll be cool to release her. Watch her go down. But as I was saying, I, this camera's probably gonna give you a little better view. You can see we got a bunch of grass right here. I'm really, I'm up on the bank. I'm in like two feet of water. I'm in two and a half, so that's like probably like three, three and a quarter. Um, water temp's about mid 70, low 70s. 
but you see like this yellow spot and there's another yellow spot they're all kind of in the grass some of them are actually holes in the grass some of them are swept off because the fish are spawning and i think those are males because that fish was peeing on me and that's what the males do with their hormones and stuff but i've seen a couple big ones they've been super spooky and i think we're at the very beginning of a wave so the females might not be up but all it takes is one dude for we're looking for one big bite it's gonna be a trip if we get it on the spinning rod Oh. Ready for the fish to jump? I just broke a decent one off. That's ungood. Got him. Switch baits. Not it. Oh. Well, guys, and, and that's why when you lose a fish twice, that, that means it's time to move on. But that, that was pretty cool to come back. What we did is we, we switched baits. So I broke the fish off because my leader knot broke, but I went to a Texas rig. He'd bonk it. It wasn't a very big fish, but it shows how they kind of, they get spooky and they peck at it because I was pitching first this little stinger to him, and then um, what did I switch to a tube, and he pecked both. But mixing those baits up is important, especially with these bed fish. Swimsuit. I'll show you something else that's interesting. So we're making a little move. I'm sorry about the motor noise, but we caught a bunch of little guys. I've seen two four to five pound class fish, but they spooked off. I'm figuring those are females and they're not quite locked on, but we got maybe like two hours more to fish or so. Um, so we might get a shot at them, but you can use this same technique and same application for those females, but it's all about timing. But if you take a look at my C-map right here, you can see my trail. Like I have it shaded, so I think it's like six foot or four foot and less is um, pink. And you can see we're just running in both places. We just kind of ran that bank. Some places you go a little further in because the grass sets up right. But all we're doing is looking for kind of like the, those shorelines and specifically what you're looking for, it's spring. In Florida, the grass is always pretty much grown up. But in a lot of these lakes up north, whether it's Alabama, whether it's Wisconsin, the grass starts growing this time of year. And especially if you get a later spawn, like what we're having, it's sparse. Like it, it pops up in like little clumps and that leaves all these little trails and like alleyways for these fish to kind of roam around and stage as well as bed. And then they'll sweep off in those open areas, but they'll also use that grass as cover. So don't always assume because you can't see them, they're not there. You just kind of pitch that bait, cover some water, but be very meticulous, especially when you got a bunch of pressure. There's a lot of guys fishing. There's a lot of guys boating. Be meticulous. If there's one fish in the area, there's probably more. But they're not. Yeah, we'll do that right at the end. Oh, I got her. I don't know if that's a big, but she is angry, dude. Angry fishes. Dude, when they're on beds, they are absolutely pissed. And here, I'm gonna tell you a little secret about these Tennessee River fish that once they get on beds, come here, come here. You guys see his eyes, how like brown red they are? That's what. That's when you know they're on beds, dude. Their eyes get like super brown red. I got them stuck. I switched baits. I got a little stinger on there. Nice little two and a half pounder. Back to where you belong. So guys, a little lesson to the wise here. Make sure you retie when you're doing this. I'm fishing with eight pound leader line. Um, pretty light, especially for fishing around grass. And the line just gets nicked up like it, it happens. So you want to retie, but I'm gonna show you what I'm using here. This is just a little Nichols Clint Davis. It's a net head. You guys have seen me fish it for smallmouth, for spots, for largemouth. This is a little lighter. I think I did put up a smallmouth video where I used this thing, kind of doing somewhat of the same thing, but that was more of a casting approach. What we're doing though is we're tying it up on that same setup that we use for casting, but instead of casting it, we are casting casting it sometimes don't get me wrong but we are um we're mainly kind of like flicking it and pitching it making little underhand casts and cast into holes and this little it's a seven foot medium action spinning rod it's super light dude you hook a fish like especially if it's a big one in this grass you gotta you gotta play them out because the hook is small the, the setup you have is small, but in all honesty, if you just keep them high and just don't pull on them too hard, you're not gonna open up the hook and um, you're gonna land them, dude. Because when you hook them with this thing, with this thing it, it really sticks them. Got in a little pot again, dude. Just a bunch of, yeah, that's a little better one. Oh, take it easy. Light line, guys. You see, you kind of like get them out of the grass 
and then you just you take it easy on them keep them high and you can land them come here come here come here come here come here all right that was giant but dude and you see how they're barely eating it like that that just tells you they're they're on the bed looking at it you like that bob that's very exciting i'm gonna put him back though okay see you later fishy oh, there's more holes coming now Another solid two pounder. So you take the risk and oh, she kicked my worms out, goof. Guys, we're not catching giants, but if you definitely want a way to like have some fun, when you, oh, see how he's peeing like oh, he's peeing on goose. <laughs> Sorry, goose. You just got peed on by a fish. You deserve that for all the licking you do. But if you definitely want a way to like catch some fish, have some fun, especially if you're out with your kids or your wife or your girl or whatever, like this is a great way. You can give them a spinning rod, super easy to manage. It's easy to cast this thing. It's tough to screw up and dude, they're there. You don't got to set the hook. You don't got to do nothing. You just kind of reel down and catch them. Now when I'm doing this, I got a couple rods rigged up. Honestly, if I can get away with it, I prefer that micro Ned. It just, for me, having a little weight on the worm and just, I have so much confidence in it. That's what it is, 100%. If, it's, if the cover's sparse enough and I can use it, that's what I'm gonna use. Like if I'm around docks, if I got you know more rock cover than grass, if there's big holes in the grass, kind of like we're doing now, that's what I'm gonna go with. But the other selections that I'll have, I got the Ned right there. I'll have anywhere from a 3 16 down to um, down to a quarter. I'm sorry, I had 3 16 to a quarter, um, just Texas rig. This is a little heavier. We're on Gunnersville, so I want something bigger. I'll put a tube on it. I'll put a creature bait on it. I'll put even, sometimes I go a little bit bigger, like um, a Gambler bacon rind or something like that, especially if the water's got a little color. And then classic, dude, you know, a stick bait. This is a fat ace on just a, a straight kind of old school offset shank uh, worm hook. I have that on my lighter spinning setup. It's eight pound test because I want that light line. And I do put it on a spinning setup because I can skip with a bait caster. I'm not super proficient. And with that setup, I like having the braid backing with that no stretch. It gives me more sensitivity and it, it, it's a balance. Like on a big fish, I'd rather have that setup almost than I would like 12 pound fluorocarbon, which is what I would throw it on on a bait caster. So you get that good sinking action. But those are kind of like the three setups. And when we're pitching this stuff, I'm gonna just kind of run you through it. You can see there's kind of dark spots and light spots. The light spots are what you're focusing on. As you go, you're gonna use your eyes and look for shadows. In different parts of the country, fish look different. One thing I know about Alabama fish is when they start getting on the bed, they start glowing. They get like a very kind of like shimmery color to them. They're still green and they're hard to see, but they'll glow. You'll see flashes and things like that. If you run across one and, and you go over them, which is something that happened to us today. Sadly, we just tried to fish another one can get it to bite like a four pounder usually it's the bigger ones but what i'll do is i'll try to get as close as i can without blowing out the bed and i'll drop a waypoint on it just a little stop sign like that and what i'm actually doing right now you can see i'm directly in front of that stop sign i'm using my point one i'm like 15 20 feet off that fish i'm gonna make some casts no guarantees in catching it but you can go back and sneak up on them and you'd be amazed how different they behave when they don't know you're there and you creep up on them where are you Got him. Oh dear. That's a big one, dude. Friggin' came back, made the perfect cast, and I got him. Please land this fish. Oh dear. Oh, don't come off. Don't go in there. 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 Oh dear. This is the light line deal, guys. Come here. 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 Buck, 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 buck. Get, 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 get. Got her. <laughs> Talk about calling your shots, boys. Oh, son. Rolled up on him, dropped the waypoint. I felt a slight tick, and, and that's because I caught the bass, boys. Dude, talk about calling your shots. We're gonna drip a little water on there, get the girl a little wet because she's gotta enjoy the moment as much as we do. Bog's enjoying the moment. I don't know if you're like me, but I'm the guy that like tries to call his shots and it never works. I know all these dudes, they're not lucky they're they're good they're more good than lucky but they're like yeah dude i saw this fish on a bed i went back two hours later and i caught her and i'm like yeah i saw this fish on a bed i went back two hours later and i didn't catch her and then went back two hours more later and and i still didn't catch her and she was there i think 
Like, if you're that guy, drop a comment in the comments box. Because I'm, I'm that guy, dude. I am not lucky. Like, I, I don't know how these dudes do it in the Derby. They, like, have these epic stories. And I'm like, yeah, that didn't happen to me. But today it did. So what we did, I was kind of telling you guys about it. We rolled up. I marked this fish on a bed. You can see that stop sign right there. I marked the fish on a bed, and literally we, we blazed over here, got on pad. And I'm like, I'm going to make two casts. Well, all it took was one with a little micro Ned Dale bog. Should we get this fish released really quick? Because we want to get her back on the bed. But dude, just a solid like three inch. Oh, and she's angry. And bog is fired up. Come here, honey. I know you're so angry. But look at that solid like three and change dude that just an absolutely like beautiful fish but let's get her released especially when they're on a bed you don't want to play with them too much catch them and leave them kind of deal see you later honey but i call my shots and that's what you can do and it's kind of like a one-two punch that you can execute on if you keep your eyes open and you stay detail oriented you know you'll catch some blind pitching and then if you see them, and especially if you stack up like four or five, you can come back. Just statistically speaking, you're going to be able to catch one when you come back. But stay off them. That fish bit about 15, 20 feet out. I had my waypoint marked. I got my point one so I can point the boat directly at it. I also played the wind. The wind's blowing in here. So one of the, boy, the, the boat kind of with the back to the wind. So you keep the boat super even when you drop the power poles. But that, that was... That was freaking cool. Throw a thumbs up for that because calling your shots, that's hot. Well, guys, you know it's a wrap when swimsuit model has clothes on again. What's with that? What's with that? But a few key points. Number one, if you can get away with the Ned, get away with the Ned. But have yourself a Texas rig with a little heavier line and then as well as a weightless stick bait like a fat ace or something like that. If your water's a little bit dirty, have like a, a braid rod if you guys watch that florida video where i caught like that seven seven inch change off a of bed have a braid rod like a seven foot medium seven foot medium heavy 30 to 40 pound braid just in case you see one like say on that dock and you see her like wedged back in a little hole next to a pole and she's locked on like you don't want to throw fluorocarbon there especially if there's a little stain in the water you're it's going to end unhappily on Un, the i'm getting tired dude, she's got clothes on i can't even talk anymore unbelievable but you're gonna it, you're gonna break your heart so have that braid rod if you have a little stain in the water maybe we'll bring bathing suit back out throw a like if you enjoy bathing suits and um you know pink bathing suits i i know i like them i wish it was still on so throw me a like and definitely subscribe to the channel as I said, YouTube hates me. If you subscribe, make sure to hit that notifications if you want to see the videos. If you hate me, if you don't want to watch the videos, don't hit that notification button because you'll be displeased. But if you guys enjoy the videos, enjoy the fishing tips, definitely hit that notifications button. I appreciate you supporting the channel. And um, we'll see you back out here, whether we're fishing, whether we're swimsuiting, whether we're talking to bog, whether we're talking fishing, talking rigs. But thank you guys for supporting the channel. We're out.